What's going on guys? We're back with another Caillou Naruto video. This time we're going to be opening over 100 packs and I try to get boxes from different tiers and waves to get a wide variety of pulls. So today we're going to be opening a tier 1 wave 2, a tier 2 wave 3, tier 3 wave 2, and then tier 4 wave 4. That way we have one from each tier and each wave. Also, if you're new to my channel or the Naruto Caillou scene, I give a really quick explanation of how the tiers and waves work in my previous video. So I'll link that in the description for you guys. So the way this video is going to be working is I'm going to do my best to try to get through these as fast as I can, but because there's so many packs, it's obviously going to take a little bit longer. And because there's so many packs, there's a lot of really not good pulls, especially with these first two boxes. And my goal right now is to make these videos as entertaining as possible. If I wouldn't sit down and watch it, then I don't want to put it out. So for you guys that don't want to sit through this whole thing, I'm going to go ahead and timestamp the pulls for these first two boxes so that you can just skip to that if you want. And then if you want to go to the last two boxes where it's a lot more common to get pulls, then you can just sit through and watch that. Here's a real quick rundown of what you can pull from this box. Again, haven't ever opened this, don't have any of these cards, so I would take literally any of these cards. Obviously we're hoping for the GPs and the MRs, but at this point we'll be taking anything. So the way I think I'm going to do this one is I think I'm just going to like kind of podcast it because we're going to be opening up a lot of packs and I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of just not really good cards for these first couple boxes. And instead of just listening to music and watching a bunch of boring stuff, I think I'm just going to kind of talk through it and podcast it. And while I got you guys here, I just want to ask y'all like what you prefer because I know some people they'll just go through, they'll open all these packs and then show their pulls from all the boxes. And so if that's something you guys prefer, then let me know because I'll happily do that. So it'll take a lot less editing, honestly. But for this first one, I want to show that it's authentic. I was really opening up our packs. And so I can keep doing this. I can keep opening up 100, tell you guys when the highlighted ones are, when the pools are. But if you prefer shorter, just to the point where my pools are, I can definitely do that. So yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys prefer because I'm going to do what you guys want. And because it's so long, I am going to use the same song a couple times because it is hard to find 25 minutes worth of copyright free music. I'm just giving a sneak peek to something. Please be, please be. Okay. There we go. There's something nice. That's a very, very clean looking card. First sleever of this entire box. Let's go. As you can tell there, I wasn't like super over the top excited just because I didn't realize I've never done any of these boxes before. I've only opened like three boxes before this. So basically everything was new to me and I was like, man, it's like I'm not getting like any pulls. So I wasn't super ecstatic when that first pull came because I was like, man, I feel like I should be getting a lot more than this. But it still, regardless, was a pretty good pull and OR is always a good card to pull. So right now, looking back, I'm super happy with that card. You know, and like I said before, there's not a lot going on with these first couple packs, so it's going to be more of a podcast type thing. And yeah, like this card, I'm pretty sure I rip it. Yeah, <laughs> see, uh, I think that's a tradition I'm going to start here on out, is anytime I pull a shotgun card, I'm just going to rip it up, because there's no point. I don't need that in my collection. Use this character in the show, use this card, just don't need that in my life. Let's go. <laughs> got one pool, got another UR. Nice. Let's see if we can get it to focus up. Yeah, there we go. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, there's another pool. I'm pretty sure that was the only other pool from this box. Besides like the SSRs and stuff like that, but I don't really count those as pools. Yeah, this first box, the tier 1s, pretty much all of them apparently are pretty mundane and pretty boring, so don't really plan on opening too many more of those. So yeah, that's all of that box. Uh, the OR, super, super sick card, very happy with that one. But one really good card out of 30 packs, I don't believe I'll be doing too many more tier 1s after that. Alright, moving on to the tier 2 wave 3 box. We got a couple different cards that I'd like to pull. We have a couple really cool ARs that I'd like to see. And then aside from that, we got some really cool ORs. I really like the Kanahamaru and the Obito in this one. So if I can pull either of those, I'd be happy. So let's get into it. I 
look this up. Kakashi, Frog. Three really repeatable cards so far. Four really repeatable cards. And, oh, oh, Gara, you are. So, as you all know, well, you probably don't know that, actually. But Gara is one of my favorites. So this you are is so nice for me. I love that card. That's such a nice card. Oh, I love Gara. Yep, just got that uh, Gara card. And like I've said a couple times, Gara's my favorite character. So basically, anytime I see those, I do like the complete opposite of the Sakura cards. I'll like rip those up. When I see a Gara card, I'll like frame it and I'll do like dirty things to it. I don't know why, but Gara's always just been one of my favorites. I'm not kidding. Like, I like Gara so much that if this video gets even like 20, we'll say 25 likes, I'll go get a Gara tattoo. Like the one on his forehead, I'll go get it tattooed on me somewhere. And ten, my sweetheart, my lover. Oh, love that Naruto. Got the uh, the Demon Slayer, um, you know, Ske. Naruto. Oh, SP Kakashi. Yo, SP is actually such a good pool. Say, no, it's not like the highest, but I think the only ones in this is Kakashi and Hinata. Man, oh, oh, that's such a nice pool. Sleep it. Very, very happy with that pool. And it's still bent. How bad bent that is. So not mint, but ah, oh, love that card. So there we go, another actual pool from this box. Another pretty lackluster box, but man, when the pools hit, they hit. Uh, the cool thing about Kakashi, man, is like. They say, like, whenever he took office as Hokage, because if you think about it, like, the first four Hokage, like, as legendary as they are for, like, being, like, the most powerful people in the world, I realized Kakashi was, like, what, the sixth Hokage? So they say he got, like, infinitely more powerful to make up for losing his shrine gun. So that's something that's always interested me. I've always wanted to have, like, a Kakashi, like, mini series to see what he actually went through to become, like, on that level of Hokage with the others, you know? Kind of weird. Oh no. Sakura theory. Oh, let's go! <laughs> no way! This is one that I wanted. I want a young Obito. This is like one of the main cards I wanted from this. Like, obviously, I don't have any of these cards, so I would have taken any of the rare ones. But man, young Obito is like one of the ones I wanted. Young Obito and young Kalanahamaru. This is awesome. Let's see if I can fix the lighting to where it looks better. Man, it's such a sick card. Oh, I love that card. I'm very excited for that pool. And there it is. We got the card that we were looking for. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted that or uh, Kanahamaru. And in my opinion, that was the better of the two. So I was really happy with that. Yeah, uh, ripping up the Sakura card uh, from that last little bit, I had a Sakura theory that whenever I get Sakura in a pack, it's just not going to be a good pack. Yo, another OR, an OR Iruka Sensei, dude. You know what? It, okay, so that's a really cool card. But tell me that this card on the left is not cooler than the one on the right. Yeah, it's close. For being so much more rare, I feel like the art design is like not that much cooler. But that is still such a really sick card. There we have it. That's going to be wrapping up the tier 2 wave 3 box with these last couple packs. And like I said, had some pretty good pulls, uh, but obviously if you want bank for your buck, you're going to want to go with the tier 3 and tier 4 stuff, which as you're about to see gets uh, significantly better. 
So yeah, overall got a couple cool SSRs. Still stand by the fact that that artwork is almost as cool as uh, just about anything else. Like that Itachi and that Kikashi. Like, come on now. But yeah, no, when you uh, look at our actual pools, it's a pretty decent box uh, for, I think, $20 or something like that. So, but overall, I would uh, still suggest these upcoming boxes. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. Now for this one, I do really like the NRs on this one, but I honestly would take any of the ARs if I'm being realistic. gosh second pack second pack we got an sp oh yeah we have this guy by the way second one we got a guy sensei sp and the rest are gonna be garbo yo let's go the sp is going crazy today go ahead and sleep that right away come on dude all right our sr but an A card, dude, come on. Let's go, dude. I'm very scared that I'm not gonna pull anything the rest of these packs because these first three have been so nice to me. So as you can tell, this box is already significantly better than the previous two. And because of that, I'm gonna be slowing down uh, a lot more. So you're not gonna be hearing me commentate as much. So uh, enjoy my live reactions. So a very, very cool card there. Oh, well, I just ruined it. We just got another AR. Dude, these packs are... This is where it's at. Yeah, dude. Come on. So this is what we've been waiting on. This is... We went through all the struggle in the first two packs. We went through 66 packs of cards of basically duds. Nothings. For this. We're on our uprising right now. We're on our up. We got a very nice Kakashi SR and Ooh, a U R. That's pretty sick. We do like that. So yeah, clearly my audio on the live reactions isn't as good. So I'm going to work on that, try to record through my microphone as I'm going. I'm not really used to opening cards, so it's a whole new setup for me. You're going to have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, I just figured the genuine reaction was more authentic and just more enjoyable to watch overall. So I'll make sure and get that fixed for next time. Alright, Shikamaru. One of the better characters in the entire show. It'd be good to meet here. Dang, dude. That is sick. The artwork. Ugh. Again, I know it's not a crazy rare card. It's like one of the least rare I've pulled, actually. But, jeez, bro. It just looks so nice. Oh, that's sick. Don't even like this character, bro. I don't like Choji, like, at all. But, yeah. I do like the blue backgrounds. I'm such a slut for blue stuff. I, th I don't think we got a hit on this one. Just from looking at the cards behind. And oh! Yikes! Was I wrong or what? AR and OR back to back. Oh, you got the Zetsu down there. White, black Zetsu. Dang, bro. Alright, alright. Set kind of popping off. Got three different ARs. That's so sick, though, bro, to go through these and not get duplicates. Oh, yeah. Alright, Kakashi, don't fail me now. Okay, okay. And on a UR? 
Come on now. Is it never going to be a bad choice to end on the, uh, the first Hokage? And just like that, we're done with the next box. A lot shorter, a lot fewer packs, but a lot more bang for your buck. So I'd much rather go through a few packs and a lot of pulls than the 30 packs and like the one or two pulls I had from the first couple boxes. And I know I'm a little over the top sometimes on my reactions, but that's genuinely how I am at the moment. Say so I uh, don't have any of these packs. I really enjoy opening these, really enjoy Naruto. So anytime I open stuff like that, it's like a genuine reaction. And that's why I opted to keep the bad audio, but the original uh, reaction, because you can't get a real like feel for how I'm feeling when I'm voicing over. So I prefer to have it that way, even if it does seem a little ridiculous. But with that said, let's go and hop into the final, and in my opinion, the best box. So for this box, I'm not really that big of a fan of the SE arts, obviously I'd take it, but I'm more interested in the BPs and the rainbow rares on this one. I love the SLRs, so I'm looking for a couple of those. Oh, so we're gonna have these, I have these hollows. Alright, let's say, alright. Sakura. SR and no, let's go right out the gate in SLR, very first one. Granted, it's just Eno, but man, I love the SLRs. Here we go, man. These cards are so sharp. I love these things. Let's leave that right away. And so for our hollow, oh, that's pretty sick. We've got a Neji and a uh, Lee. That's super cool. So I need to set those aside as well. Naruto, Fish Boy, SR, and AR Mitsuki. Oh, I love Mitsuki, dude. This is so sick. I love how each box just gets progressively better with the pulls. I don't think we've got any duplicates, duplicate ARs yet, which is super sick. Tsunade, big 106, she's wagging her finger, uh-uh Naruto, you can't touch my titties, I'm gonna eat that like some ramen, Tsunade, and, oh, so nice, an OR, so they keep teasing me, I keep seeing these full arts, I'm like, thinking for sure it's gonna be BP. I'm still very happy with that, don't get me wrong. Very happy with that pool. SSR. There's the 106, yeah buddy. Oh, I'm, say I'm setting that one aside, I'm saving that for later. Garo, my boy. Always love Gara cards. Alright. And you are a tin tin. Dude, ah. Uh, see, it's random characters like that. I don't know why, but I I love Tin Tin dude. Like she's just so underrated. Now a lot of people say that she's not. Cause she is. My favorite thing is that move where she's like trying to fight Tamari. She just like runs behind her. It takes her like 10 seconds to get behind her. Like sneak attack. But no, Tintin, when she puts her hair down, bro, she's one of the baddest chicks in the show. Do not convince me otherwise. Alright. Sakura. Oh no, two Sakuras. Three Sakuras, no. Uh oh. You are a pain. Okay. Okay, Sakura. I see. I see. Uh uh. You can look, but you can't touch. Tamari, Mitsuki, my boy. Lee, and. <gasps> no way! Bro, that's the 20th anniversary card. Oh, I love this card. I was actually saying how I wanted this one very badly. Oh, that's sick. 
Oh, I love this card. I don't think it's like a crazy rare card, but man, it, it is still a pretty rare card. Dude, oh, I love that card. You got the 7th Hokage, Naruto looking down at swing. That is just like so precious. Oh, I know that this card is new to the uh, tier 4s. Man, let's go. This is what we've been waiting for. This is why this is the pack that costs all the money. Alright. Chevy, Kahamaru, Gara, and you are Eno. Dude, I'm just going on. We have to some pools. Alright, Alright, Oh wait, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. I'm getting- Oh, Mitsuki! I don't know why, I love Mitsuki. Reminds me of Kilua from Hunter x Hunter. I love both of them. And... AR Aligo! ARs are going crazy, still no, uh, duplicate ARs, which is insane to me, I love that. I'm a little slow for ARs. Alright, finally got a little bit of a break from the pools, which is honestly a good problem to have. But yeah, as far as my commentary goes, like my live commentary, I know I'm weird and I really, really consider cutting it out. But like I said earlier, I want you guys to be entertained and personally, I wouldn't find it as entertaining if I'm just watching someone open packs. I watch a lot of people for their personalities. So I just kind of let my personality stick around, which honestly might not be a great idea for me, but I want the most entertaining experience. Cards going crazy today. I love the rainbows, dude. I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care if that's taken away from like maybe possible other ones. I love the rainbow cards. They're so sick. Alright. Yeah, I really love this HR. This is like probably my favorite HR I pulled. But uh aside from this HR, that was all the pulls for this video. Let's say I uh pull a few more SSRs, but that's about it. Nothing uh nothing too crazy. So I just want to go ahead and thank you guys for sticking around watching the video, if you made it this far. Uh, props to you, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah, I love doing this, this is like one of my favorite things to do. So any kind of support and love helps because it does take a lot of time to do these things. So yeah, just again hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hope you all uh, show some love, appreciate it. Alright, that's gonna be it. Here's the final tally from this box. And yeah, again, if you guys don't care, just uh, give me a shout. I know this video is pretty long, so just let me know if you're okay with this style or if you prefer just me skipping to the pools because I can definitely do that. And then also just how uh, we didn't get any duplicate ARs. But yep, again, thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. Uh, love y'all. Making it super fun to do this. So uh, yeah, look forward to the next one. Peace.